What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and I just finished up watching Joe Smith Jr. versus Maxime Vlasov, which is a 12-rounder for the vacant WBO Light Heavyweight World Championship. And this fight was Saturday, April 10th, from the Osage Casino in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And this fight was broadcasted on ESPN, ESPN Plus, or on the ESPN app. And in this fight, Joe Smith Jr. ultimately gets the job done, winning via majority decision to win the vacant WBO Light Heavyweight World Championship. And finally, Joe Smith is a world champion. After years of hard work and dedication, he is now a world champ. But just let's get into the fight. This was a war, a tremendous fight, and definitely goes up there for a fight of the year contender similar to multiple fights today on Showtime. Great night of boxing, April 10th, and I have to applaud boxing here. Great cards and fights on Showtime, and it was a great card and a great fight here on our main event on ESPN. But um, I scored the fight 115-113 in favor of Maxim Vlasov. Comment down below how you scored the fight. I didn't really think it could have been a robbery because this fight was so close that it could have went either way. Because I was sort of expecting that since it was in the United States and that... Um, it was in Oklahoma, and I know Oklahoma, with boxing, their commission's known for some corruption with the judges' scorecards when they're um, facing foreigners with an American fighter and stuff like that. Because usually when an American fighter fights a foreign fighter coming to the United States, it's always in favor of that foreign fighter when it is a close fight. And I knew that here because one judge had a 114-114 a draw, which is a fine score. That's how the ESPN commentators had it. And two judges had it 115-113 for Smith. And um, 115 at 112. And one of them scored it a 10 8 round, I believe so, for Joe Smith, which is pretty odd because there was no knockdowns. I know he did hurt uh, Maxine Blasov multiple times, and I'm going to get into that a little bit later. But um, still, that's a little excessive giving him a 10 8 round. But um, overall, the scorecards weren't terrible because 7 5 Joe Smith is not a bad score. I'm not going to say it's a robbery just because I didn't have it the way the judges had it because it was a close fight. And I'm very interested to see how other people had it as well. But Maxim Vlasov, he's still a game contender. Um, this is his fourth defeat, but it is a majority decision. And he fought very well and possibly won the fight. But, um, yeah, Joe Smith Jr. getting his 27th victory. Uh, what is next for him? I think he's going to be fighting Artur Beterbiev for the unified WBO, IBF, and WBC light heavyweight world titles. And what's next for Maxim Vlasov? I think he's going to fight in Russia against some more eligible contenders, like top 15 guys. I would like to see him against, like, Isaac Chalemba again, because they've had two fights, two wars. I would like to see a trilogy. That'd be a great fight as well. But I'm not really too sure any other opponents he would face. He also had a good run at Cruiserweight as well, so I could possibly um, want to see him at Cruiserweight again. But, um, yeah, just to speak more into this fight, uh, Joe Smith Jr., he did hurt Maxim Vlasov multiple times, and the 11th and 12th rounds were huge for Joe Smith, because I believe some of the judges in... Maybe all three judges actually have last off ahead by like one point going into that uh, 11th round. And um, yeah, Maxim Vlasov was hurt in that 11th round really bad. Almost got dropped up until I shot behind the head. Um, and the referee halted the contest because obviously it was a shot behind the head. He gave Vlasov five minutes to recover and the crowd was not having it. They were booing at Vlasov and I believe it was Joe Smith's manager and promotional team they were screaming he's giving him time he's recovering he's giving him water you're not supposed to do that I mean it was a war and it was crazy uh, what a fight this was but overall Joe Smith Jr. gets the job done and finally becomes a world champion at light heavyweight and gets his 27th victory in the process and uh, yeah that's really it I'm MB Boxing thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later